Pokemon Collector's Optical 20 for another video review and I want to thank our friends at Aspos Collectibles for sending me this figure um, and also if you want to purchase this you can click the link down below on their website and also they're uh, currently in pre-order at BigBadToyStore.com um, Let's start off with a box I, I, I want to thank Aspos for continuing to uh, you know, support this line that I love which is Lord of the Rings they're the only ones practically right now who's doing the 1-6 scale and and they're amazing, you know. Um, I had Frodo and Sam coming over, but this guy is unbelievable. Um, he I, he came out of nowhere. Like last year, they announced him, and I, they looked at the prototype, and it was pretty cool. Um, and then all of a sudden, the final product, this the, the prototype kind of changed for the better, actually, because I, I think the sh they got the shape of the face a lot better than the prototype when they showed it. Prototype, prototype looks pretty good uh, as well, but... Um, like I said, uh, normally when the prototype, when they release something, it's for the worse when the final product comes in. This one's actually a little bit better. So you can see there, that's not a bad picture right there. But, you know, the, the face is a little bit fuller. So you can see that's the actual actor on the left-hand side, which what they did on the actual product is, is make it, you know, like the shape of the face a, a lot thinner. So I'm, I'm really happy about the final product. And um, nor as typical of Aspus collectibles, the uh, outfit is outstanding, and also you know the the amount of accessories that it comes with. So you can see here, open palm hands. You got two hands that can hold the swords. Um, it's black gloves right here. So that's you know that's pretty cool. Um, nice paint application. Uh, it's not hard to remove and install the hands. It comes in with uh, a standard base. You know, I like the fact that they they include both. Um, that's pretty awesome, and also he comes with his awesome swords. Um, he comes with two. They're they're die cast. They're they have some weight on them, and the uh, detail is just amazing. As you can see here, I'm just gonna show you the details of the sword. Yeah, there's some elvish markings in here, and it's um, it's really nice. It has a lot of weight in it. Um, not too heavy, but um, you know it's die cast, so. It, it has this expensive feeling, you know, it's it's nothing compared to, let's say, a plastic sword. He also uh, comes with his staff, which is uh, a pretty cool staff, as you can see here. There's uh, some nice details. And also, it, it says on the, um, this is actually a pre-order bonus. So if you pre-order this this figure, you'll, you'll get this um, uh, nice looking staff. I don't know what it's called, honestly, but yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. So nice bonus right there. Uh, the yellow part is a bit transparent and um, this is to me uh, what separates Asmus from from different guys um, you know I'm just gonna give you a close-up look of the uh, the diorama stand but it's pretty awesome as you can see there it's a it, it looks like a cross uh, that he stands on there's like some vines in it you know the inclusion of this diorama base being the price that he's currently in for 199 it's amazing you know they did it with Gandalf which is pretty cool I like the base of Gandalf but this one has a lot of weight in it um, and, and just overall it's it's um, it brings a different aspect to to your collection um, I remember on their prototype they're showing pictures asking if this is a statue because it does look like a statue when he's standing over this nice diorama base and as far as the figure itself quality that's that's one word that I can describe this figure once you hold him and you see his outfit, you know, it's, um, it's just, there's a lot of details in it, from the armor to his, um, to his clothing, uh, the design and everything. It's, you know, it feels like it takes you back to, you know, the Lord of the Rings where elvish, um, you know, characters, they have this, this kind of like a glamorous type. And this is how it feels, you know, you hold him, he has some weight in him. Um, the you know the patterns and and all these accessories it's it's just mind-blowing you know um it comes with this nice uh you know, forearm guard that's that a bit yeah i, I don't know it hasn't happened to me yet but kind of worries me because of his gauntlet right there there's a like a shield on his hand it's being connected via you know leather i know i shouldn't worry about it too much but you know i'm just a bit concerned that maybe it'll come off in the future but who knows you know you never know what's gonna happen 
but um yeah so here you go you can see his legs armored on his legs pretty cool i i love lord of the rings you know and it's this is two part um armor so you don't get the uh one boot kind of treatment so there's a lot of articulation if needed be his cape is nice and velvet it, it's really it i wouldn't say it's really heavy but it has a heavy feel on it so it drapes just naturally on his back it has he has this wings uh, sort of thing on the, on the back of his armor plate and it says on the instruction manual that you can actually position this so it looks like he's you know however you want like you can make it position doesn't look like he's flying or whatever uh pretty cool nice details uh, you can see the pattern in his shirt that is amazing right there um his armors are, are pretty cool as well you know you can see the joints there but you can clearly hide it whenever you want to that's the sheath of his swords which holds them pretty well um you see that shining from the back God, I, I love it when, you know, their outfit and, and all. This is what 1-6 scale is all about, in my opinion. You know, these tiny little details, the outfit, accessories. And I think that's where Asmus excels. You know, that I think this is what separates 1-6 from, for example, 1-9th or, you know, statues is, is the amount of accessories that we have. So as far as head sculpt, um, I'm pretty happy with it. You know, um, the paint apps could be better, yes. But um, I, I think it's pretty solid, so I'm just showing you, you know, like a, a picture of the uh, of the actor that portrayed the uh, the character, which is, you know, he's they look feminine, you know. I, I guess that's what um, elves look like. It's pretty clean. Um, the the paint apps that they put in into this um, overall, I'm really happy with it. It's one of their better head sculpt, by the way. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just do a, a quick transition. So yeah. The eyes, it's pretty cool. Um, maybe a little bit texture on the face, but that that picture that I sh just showed you, it's it's heavily Photoshop. It's uh, HDR, so it shows all the uh, textures and whatnot. But uh, overall, I'm really happy with it. You know, as you can see there, um, the likeness is definitely there. Uh, he has this ear, so you gotta futz around with the hair to get the uh, proper look. That those elvish ears, you know. So you know, just gotta play around with the hair just get the happy medium where you're gonna meet up um, you know like a little bit of hair in the front you know you just gotta play around with it so overall the hair looks pretty nice you know the sculpt is really solid it's pretty strong to be quite honest with you um, you know uh, on the screen because I rewatched it again he looks like he's really um, the prototype has more texture on it this one is more smoother but in the movies, that's how it comes across. That you know, he has this pale skin, and it's really smooth. I guess one of the characteristics of uh, being an elf, I guess you know. But yeah, pretty solid figure right here. And uh, I'll throw him a few poses. And God, I, I like this figure. There's no hindrance in articulation whatsoever. So you can do any sort of pose um, that, you, that you can think of. Uh, any fighting pose or especially using his diorama base as you can see there it's it's beautiful i i love it when they do that they i know they did it on their aragorn gandalf this guy you know this little accessories makes a difference when you display them over you know i and it might be a stretch if you put this on let's say on your detolf because it does come with the like the, i don't know if you can see it from the bottom like a black base same thing that they did with uh gandalf but uh, I'm, you know, I want to use them, so I'm not putting them on a detail. I'm, 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 I'm gonna have a special place for them. Um, every once in a while, I, I kind of wanna, you know, I, I always do uh, like a rotation on my figures. But it's, it'll be such a shame if we, if you don't use this diorama base, you keep them on the, you know, on a box just because it won't fit on the, on a detail. So, I mean, but look at that. It's just a thing of beauty right there. Beautiful. And the overall feel, just when you get a figure, you, you can see the cape right here. Most people would buy, uh, you know, from a different character, a custom cape. And it has wires, so you can kind of, you know, shape them up. Uh, obviously not as, as dynamic as you would do, they'd say, in a different figure where you can kind of get the cape flowing, you know, third-party capes. Uh, the cape is, re is, is a bit heavy on this one. 
because it's a nice quality type of fabric and it's double lining from the inside with red but um yeah you can't do those dynamic capes you know flowing in the air and whatnot but in his case i don't really think you need to uh it's not like he's batman or anything but it's nice you know it, it if you don't want to utilize the uh the wires underneath it still gives you this nice uh flowing uh effect because of the the weight of the cape and here he, you know it's it's falling down because i kind of had him his legs spread out kind of one hand you know as you can see there it's kind of hitting the <laughs> my turntable but you get the idea i'm trying to get him wielding two swords i'm just trying to be cute here it's this is going to be a lot better if it's if it's just photograph but you know you get the post you get the idea right there so you know there's a lot of things that you can do with this guy you can you can experiment because on the movie you know he he, he did fight you know if you can get a big moose and you know have him ride it that's that's even better but he's pretty badass himself you know on those film um this one you know i gotta give him the the dual short sword thing which i gave him one earlier for the other one's kind of like backhanding the other guy but it's it's uh it's nice now i can't wait for thorin i hope they make them i'm sure they will um the bad guy the big you know he looks like kratos but he, he's pretty cool too he can come with his uh i hope that he comes with his uh the big dog you know so you know i, I know somebody's gonna comment that i just called this, this animal a big dog but i don't know what it's called I, I love the films but i'm not that kind of junkie where i know every aspect of it you know but it's pretty awesome. I, I like this guy. I, I, I'm s I'm so happy that um, Asmus is um, you know continue. They they continue to release Lord of the Rings characters, which I, I honestly do love. And it, and honestly, for a company, it's it's a bit of a risk because you know they haven't really made a movie in quite some time now. So it's it's not there. So you can see that. The, the wings is only showing up for one part but you know, i actually got two wings right here and this is this figure right here is really limited it's limited to 600 pieces and um when you know when when asmus tells you they only made 600 pieces um you gotta believe them because i wanted to get the frodo and sam and i kind of waited which is my fault you know i was waiting for a nice review uh before forking out some money because you know but they're, they sold out and when i decided i, I want to get them i need them in my life um they sold out so i gotta i i purchased mine at big bad toy store luckily they still s have one on pre-order but um yeah you know lately asmus has been i know the, there's mixed reviews about um frodo and sam and i'll give you my take on it once i get them uh but this guy is i would say if you're a lord of the rings that's a must have at this point um He's one of the major characters. Uh, they've been hitting it out of the park lately with Grishnak of the, the the previous one that I reviewed, the most recent one. That's pretty good. Actually, it's pretty perfect to be quite honest with you for an orc. Um, a lot of people are saying that you know they don't get the face sculpt or how it's supposed to, which for the most part there it's it's out there. Uh, it's just not you know it's not on the spot. But I'm really happy with it. Uh, with the price that they're charging, this guy's one ninety nine. So, I mean, with all the things that you're getting, I I think it's really worth the money. I I, I really believe that. Uh, for one ninety nine, yes, you know, I I can I can point out a bunch of figures that are not perfect for double the price. So, you know, for for the money that you're spending, like the Frodo and Sam, they're like two hundred forty dollars, and you get two figures, and their main characters to an iconic film. Uh, maybe the Hobbit is is. It's, it's not as popular as Lord, the Lord of the Rings, um, you know, the trailer, the first trilogy, but it's still a pretty good movie, you know. And um, Thranduil is a pretty cool character and a pretty badass at that. So, yeah, like I said, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, if you want to pick this up, click the link down below. Please like and subscribe.